In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to continue our look at how to build your menu for a disk that you burn from your project. I have a simple project here with seven clips on track number one. And each clip has been given a chapter name. The default is when you build chapters simply to call them chapter one, two, and three, but I decided to make it more descriptive. If you're not sure how to handle chapters in your projects, we have a separate lesson for that here at the Sharper Turtle. But what I'd like to do is this lesson, look at how to modify the number of chapters that appear on each page in your menu system when you prepare to burn a disk. We're going to go to Create Disk, pretending we're just about ready to burn all of our project. And now we have one of the default templates that are available in CyberLink PowerDirector. We have a lesson, uh, we'll do a lesson on how to change those templates. And they're found simply in the Menu Preferences tab on the left at the top. But I'm using this template for now, and it starts out with a root uh, template, and then it has very, a lot of subpages. To look at the structure of that, the best way to do that is simply click on Menu Structure, the button in the upper right corner of the left panel. When I click on that, it tells me this is the, going to be the structure of my menu. The default for the entire project and every single page is going to be the phrase, My Video. And we've gone through another lesson showing you how you can go ahead and edit that um, by clicking on it. I'll, I'll simply take this one here, and for fun, I'll change this to Super Movie. And you'll watch it change in the left panel. Now it's called Super Movie. But it only changes the page where the edit is actually made. Now, what we have here is we have three subpages. Because we have seven clips, it's three, three, and one. What if you'd like to change those? How can you do that? Let me show you. All I need to do is click on any page besides the root page. And when I do that, it becomes active in the upper right preview window. And this changed. It used to say root, and now it says one of three. If I click anywhere in underneath it, it will also say one of three, and it highlights the chapter I've clicked on. Same way for the second one. I can click on the My Videos here, or I can click on any of the uh, chapters under My Video, and that will put me on page two. The same works on page three. So now I have each of these three pages, and I can go ahead and make changes in the number of chapters that I want to display on that page in my menu system. Let's go back to page number one. And now we're on page one, and I can decide, well, you know, I don't want three chapters displayed here. I want only two. Now, th this is where we get to the buttons per page option. When I click on the down arrow, I say I have a maximum of three. Most of the templates built into CyberLink PowerDirector have only three buttons as option, or three chapters as optional. You can go ahead and design them, customize them to do more, and then save them as a different kind of template. Uh, but you can't exceed the ones in this screen that go beyond the maximum number that are part of the template. So right now we're restricted to no more than three. Let's see what happens when I back down to two. When I do that, you notice my structure changes over here. It doesn't affect any of the other pages directly, only indirectly. Here it took two. Second page, it takes three. Third page, it takes three. And I used to have one here, but now I have two here. But that's, uh, that's only because that's how many I have left over. If I were to take the first one, and go ahead and now I say I only want one button on that page, one chapter to be displayed as an option. Now it adds a fourth page. So basically the pages at the top are masters and the others are slaves beneath them. They control it. And you notice the new page inherited the same title as the other pages. It's also called My Videos. 
I'll go back and I'll change this back to three. Okay, now what? Now I'm back to three, three, and one. But I can take the second uh, page in my menu system, for example. I confirm I'm on page two of three here, and I can change that from three to two. And again, what it did was it says, we're taking two, you can have what's left. I can take the last page. Let's go ahead, take this one. I'm going to change the title of this one uh, to uh, Almost Finished in terms of the menu system. And notice the edit will, will uh, appear here. And let's change this to 1. When I click it to 1, you notice uh, it, it adds another page, but the other page also inherits the page title from the previous page. So that's how that happens to work. If I were to go back to page 2, bump it back to 3, now I have one of the pages actually disappear because there are no chapters left to display. So that's how you can begin to determine how many chapters do I want in my menu system as I build my menu for people to watch my project on a DVD, Blu-ray, or other media form that I can burn in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.